My name is Amina Bergeron. I'm majoring in mechanical engineering technology here at STIC. I was given the opportunity to go onto a NASA location on site, and all of my teammates were we were there with the same goals and ambitions to, to work for NASA one day. And we are one of our tasks was to build a rover and simulate that it would be on on Mars. And it, the first competition we did win, and it was awesome. The rover preservance that just landed this year on Mars. Uh, me and my family we watched it like live. The uh, when it touched down, when it was touched down, obviously there was a 15 minute delay from Mars to, to Earth, but it it was like, awesome. The fact that I was able to like simulate that with my team, and that maybe one day could build something to send over to Mars or to another planet, I felt like very happy and. It was, it was just like to know that there was a successful launch and then that there was like such high quality cameras on preservance. Like I think they have eight GoPros on it, HD cameras. And uh, just to be able to have the ability to see what we couldn't see with the past rovers, it's incredible. Let's fly. My dreams would be to work for NASA so I could build something or any kind of technology to send over to into space to do more discoveries about what's unknown to men and to be able to to discover stuff that no one really knows about yet in the near future it could be possibility that people would go there as a not as a luxury but like hey instead of i want to go to bahamas i might want to go into space and i want to just you know watch the earth watch other planets or stars and moons and from from the space station for anyone thinking about working for NASA, um, you know, astronauts are obviously the face of space travel, but there's there's a huge number of people behind the scenes, scientists and engineers, technicians, technologists. Um, all of these folks contribute to the research and development of, of space programs and space travel. They all have technical degrees in STEM. So STIC, uh, no pun intended, is a great launching pad. We offer programs in science and engineering transfer. So if you want to study, say, physics, or you want to study mechanical engineering, um, you can go on to any four-year institution and just you know, keep on earning degrees um, and get a really economical and solid foundation at STIC. Women are underrepresented in all STEM fields. Um, women in general, and in particular women of color, in engineering and engineering technologies that underrepresentation is the most severe. Um, so we have at STIC the Society of Women Engineers. We have a chapter, a collegiate chapter of the Society of Women Engineers. Um, SWE is a national, actually an international organization that advocates for women in engineering and related STEM fields. And we're one of only a handful of uh, community colleges in the country that support a SWE chapter. The highlights that of, of my NASA experience was the mission control where to be able to, to sit down and in those chairs where uh, the rockets were flown on NASA Wallops ground. And she was able to land her first opportunity at NASA, you know, through a connection with me, but then went on and landed several more on her own. So that's a, that's a perfect scenario. Uh, I would love to be there to give like the the instructions or like to reassure the astronauts while they're up in space that would be one of my dreams to do. realizing my lifelong dream solid works like to to make and build like design the, the model and to be able to show the blueprints to to the people that would be able definitely applicable to, to work for nasa and the mechanical part which is building the parts and using the cnc uh, mill and lathe you can make all types of parts like custom parts and then like custom parts for a rover or any type of any type of equipment that you're trying to launch to space, you could do it with uh, those machines, and you have the ability to build it on and program it on on those. NASA has opened many uh, opportunities for me, and they have it has also built my confidence along with my uh, with SIC, with the possibilities that I can do. Because before I would always doubt myself, like, hey, I wouldn't be capable of doing this or I, don't, I didn't think I was good enough, but NASA like made me overcome and made me become more confident in myself. And along with my school and the, the support that I get from my professors, from the school system, and it's just been beyond motivating and I don't think I'll ever turn back.
and I'm just gonna keep pushing forward because of all of those opportunities that was given to me and I'm thankful and grateful for it. Do it. To know that you're in an area where there's like never, most people have never been there. And so to be born and raised on earth and to go to a different planet would be like, it's the, the discoveries would be like unlimited and like what you could find there would be like the possibilities are endless. Like you could do, you could find other, other type of insects or other type of stuff that don't exist here on earth. And to know that that could, that you could do that. It's like awesome. Technical Community College, STD.